So first, I'm going to go over the hardware stuff, and then I'll get into the software onto my computer. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. Dude, I don't know how to start this. Uh, this is my computer. Alright, so the keyboard, there's nothing really special about that. It does have lights, and it is mechanical. Alright, next is my mouse. Uh, this is a MML style mouse. It's actually pretty useful in terms of accessibility because you can bind these keys to any command you want or like to open up a program or something. So I have it to like, the, of course the next page, back page, invert color, I think read text, stop reading, stuff like that. So yeah, this is actually really useful and I would suggest picking up one. Well, this is my, I think, 34 inch 1080p monitor and this is my 27 inch monitor I've had this since like eighth grade right now it's disconnected because I haven't used it in a while I used to use it when I would play games on here and I'd put like a like if I was listening to like a video podcast or something I'd put it right there does that make sense video podcast well podcast with video well, or like I don't know just some random YouTube video I put there while I was playing on here PS4 I only have one game for I also have this, which is a Surface. I did get some software that does help with accessibility, so maybe I could do a video on that when I get money, when I get a job, when I stop being a failure. Next thing I have is MacBook. So it's dead, but uh, I want to do a video on that someday. Another thing that you might need is a USB hub. It gives you like extra USB ports, but it makes everything easier. Easier to grab and disconnect things. So if you have like a braille display or just, or you just want to manage cables easier. And if your USB ports are all full, you can also use that. I mentioned PS4. Xbox in the living room. That's my brother's. But sometimes I like to use it. Haven't used it in a year, but you know. Hey, here is my braille display that I never use all right so this is my desktop hopefully the audio isn't atrocious yeah if you notice this this is my wallpaper is animated uh, this is actually wallpaper engine which I actually will pull up right now okay so this is the wallpaper engine store or workshop thing and you can just get any animated wallpaper. Uh, there's no accessibility features to this. This is just like something off of Steam, which is pretty cool. You could just have videos playing or whatever you want. Or just some animation like that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. The rain meter actually might come to use for some people. This stuff right here. Hopefully I don't get people dizzy with this zooming in. So Rain Meter is this uh, program that lets you put, I guess they're called skins, on your computer. So I have like these. You can actually make these a lot bigger if you wanted to, but I just have those for fun. You can get like a big clock if you wanted to, or put your computer specs, like your RAM usage, all that stuff. Um, this actually might be pretty useful for accessibility. So you could have, instead of having these small icons, well you can actually enlarge these. But if you want to have some nice looking ones, you could get them off of Rain Meter. Hopefully people actually see this video and I could one day look for the most accessible ones. If you notice down here, there's these little white dots. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's my desktop. Now for accessibility, I have Read For Me, which is a text-to-speech software. I just use the Windows 10 magnifier because it's the uh, simplest. Um, it has invert color, uh, zoom in, zoom out. That's all I really need in Zoom Text, or I think the other one's Magic, because those are pretty hefty programs, and you know when you're gaming, they really lag out your computer. So I have that. I have Key Tweak, which lets you rebind keys using uh, your registry to um, anything you want. My spacebar is broken, so I made my right alt key the spacebar, so I can actually use my keyboard. So you'll notice that your hand is right here to hit the Windows key, and then you have to hit all the way right here and take your hand off the mouse. So I find that really inefficient 
or if you have a smaller keyboard, it'd be up here. So instead, I changed my F1 to plus. So whenever I type on the keyboard, a plus will show up whenever I hit this and minus for F2. And then whenever I hit these keys over here, this is F1 and F2. That's just for universally for every program, no matter what program I use, since it changes the keys in your registry. So now I could keep my hand on the mouse while I zoom in and out with this left hand. Then I could go quickly back to my ASDF form. So yeah, now I could, you know, navigate my computer a lot faster. Efficiency is really big for me. I want to be able to use my computer as fast as possible. Okay, so this is actually a free program. I actually got this off of SourceForge, which is kind of like GitHub, if you know what that is. It's a super simple text-to-speech program. There's other options than text-to-speech. You can like make MP3 files. You can type text in, and then it'll speak it for you. But I use this, so I can hit like a Control Alt S, highlight text, and then Control Alt S to speak it. And there's like a bunch of other commands that you can use, pause, you know, stuff like that. If you have a Mac, there is already text-to-speech software on it, and it's really good, really smooth. I don't need voiceover because I can use the mouse. Reading, especially reading big paragraphs or just any sentence is hard for me. So I just quickly highlight text. Yeah, I'll give you an example. This is actually a rain meter. So I can highlight this, control alt. It's actually Beats C. Weather forecasts. Right on your desktop. Mini skins are even functional. They can record your notes and to-do lists, launch your favorite applications, and control your media player. All in a clean, unobtrusive interface that you can rearrange and customize to your liking. Okay, so yeah, you can just highlight text. Quickly read it. Customizable skins. And stop it with control alt X and then control alt C. This th this just for me, so that way. I guess I just found it more efficient, but you can change it to whatever you want. Notice the bookmarks. Yeah, I'm a f f f weep. No, I just like anime. Now this, this, I think it's open source. I'm not sure, but um, there, there are no updates. There'll never be more updates. It says somewhere here in the description maybe that whoever made this is discontinuing it. I guess, but it's free. So uh, I would definitely use it. You don't need super expensive programs, honestly. If you do have some vision and you can like use a large mouse and you're able to click around, but you just need like a quick, oh, let's read this. With read for me clipboard reader, you can let your computer read you the contents of the clipboard using a pre-installed SAPI 5 TTS voice when a hotkey is pressed. You can set multiple hotkeys for multiple languages, voices, speech rates, and volumes. Furthermore, the program can convert text files to MP3. Yeah, it's actually really useful. The software isn't that hefty to use, you know, there's not, no lag or anything. So yeah, that's uh, read for me. And then magnifier, if you're not familiar with magnifier, here's the program. See, it's super simple. So uh, yeah, there's some settings. If you, I mean, just basically zoom in out, you know, what rate do you want to zoom in and out? Uh, invert color, which I have normally is control alt I which again is super inefficient to use because you do have to take your hand off the mouse but uh, uh, since I have macros on my mouse um, I just ass assigned it to one and I could just quickly press it next is my chrome extensions if you notice everything's black which isn't normally the case see here's the front page of reddit it's all black it's all nice easy to see here's youtube this is the trending page um, Google and Rain Meter. So this works for all websites. Dark Reader is the name of the extension. Uh, it's also from SourceForge, but you can get on the Chrome Store, I believe. Toggle on and off. You could whitelist websites. So if there's sometimes websites that are already dark will kind of be inverted because this will turn it to its inverted color so then this will turn it white but you could add it to the whitelist website so that way it just stays dark and you can change brightness levels you know stuff like that uh, grayscale which is cool but um yeah it's actually really helpful you can change font but uh i i don't i don't mess with any of that i just have some websites whitelisted yeah you use this you could read stuff easier and again this works for pretty much every website Okay, another extension turns this Chrome browser dark. Normally this thing isn't dark. I forget what it's called, but I'll probably link it in the description. This is separate from the dark reader. Oh, um, okay, so now this is actually super, super helpful if you're a blind or low vision gamer. Uh, it's called Borderless Gaming. 
if your game doesn't allow borderless window mode this will turn a windowed mode into borderless window i should do a, a whole video about blind gaming this is kind of like an overview when you're in full screen mode you can't zoom in and out but in windowed mode you can at least for most games some games you really can't but if like menus i have trouble seeing menus so i could quickly zoom in and out using um borderless gaming so i could have a borderless window yeah it looks full screen everything still looks nice but i could zoom in and out so that's actually really helpful yeah i'll do a whole video on using the xbox one as a low vision person the ps4 and then pc gaming which is mainly what i do when i actually do play games i'll quickly show you my right this is my uh, mouse software it allows up to like all these different presets down here so i can set these all these keys to whatever i want there's 12. so that's pretty cool and you can set them to whatever i want one of them for me is invert color there's stop speed start for the read for me program i do highly recommend this mouse some people didn't like it because it was too big but i do have pretty decent sized hands with long fingers and i actually bought it reading the bad reviews that it was too big a lot of mmo mice are pretty small like like the razor mice really like this mouse and it comes with this software so uh yeah this is my overview of my computer this is gonna be one of those videos that like no one watches it's gonna have like three views that are on me